So you might be asking yourself on your Mac, your MacBook, your iMac, whatever you have, should you actually go through and basically install some sort of a antivirus program on your system? Now, to kind of break it down, the first thing you're going to have to kind of remember here is that on your Mac, a lot of these newer systems already have a lot of built-in protocols that in case something ever happens to your Mac, you might be able to go through and still be able to, you know, recover a lot of things within your Mac. And AKA, you probably don't need to install a virus program because there are already so many built-in virus software kind of stuff inside of your particular device. Now, inside of a Mac, you already have a couple of different things. Number one, you have something called XProtect. That is basically a Apple owned, it's like a built-in, you know, antivirus program. It scans things automatically in the background and it will go ahead and kind of alert you if there's malware or different things like that. There's another thing called Gatekeeper. This thing ensures that all applications that you're installing are signed and notarized by Apple. So that's kind of the one thing where like, you know, you might get a pop-up telling you that you're installing an unsigned app. As long as you're installing apps and stuff that, you know, look pretty good, you probably won't need to go through and install a different, you know, application for like their antivirus stuff. Now, there are reasons to install some things. You know, sometimes there are built-in tools that Mac has built or Apple has built that have some sort of limits inside of them. They may not have the most up-to-date features or the most up-to-date, you know, fixes for the known threats compared to some other third-party applications. So that could be another thing and another reason maybe why you'd want to go through and install some sort of like you know third-party application. There might be some extra features that are supported there too that may be transferable from like an iPhone to a Mac. So you could have a you know one account that does something like that. But I would say if you're not really doing anything super crazy on your Mac, if you're keeping things pretty chill, if you're not installing a bunch of random random applications, you probably don't need a you know antivirus program. I personally don't have any antivirus programs, but for your particular Mac, you might want to do it if you are installing a lot of different random software throughout the internet. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.